Talking Sex Live is recorded in front of a live audience. This show is for mature listeners only. Hello, you're Talking Sex Live with Chet and Diane. I'm Diane. And I am Chet, and we are unlicensed sex therapists here to provide advice to people who call in and also talk about sex positivity and spread the whole nature of being sex positive and with the world. We are not licensed sex therapists. We haven't had any formal training, but we're just a couple who just likes to have a lot of sex and we want to share knowledge with the world. And so we are streaming live to Twitch right now. We're also recording for YouTube and also for podcast. And how are you doing tonight, Diane? I'm doing good. How about yourself? It is hot. It is very hot. Mm -hmm. We walk around naked a lot when it's hot and we can't resist each other. So we have a lot of sex and we are actually pretty sore right now uh because Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna have to give diane a couple days off uh and myself as well Mm -hmm. i might masturbate because she's so hot but uh when we walk around we just can't resist each other and we say this like oh i have to have a break and then we end up having sex and then it just kind of uh escalates escalates and goes down a downward spiral Mm -hmm. downward spiral but we're joined with our producer it's been a while there my friend wells how are you doing hi you too i am doing great how are you no that's great you Mm -hmm. are ecstatic uh we haven't seen you in a few weeks like we were up at tahoe and we came back and then you were on a a little trip uh we went to a a sex a nude beach Mm -hmm. sorry not a sex beach that would be weird no no not beach (laughs) we went to an adult store uh at a boutique and uh, of course you can hear about that all in our last episode uh our last podcast episode but uh where were you at there wells i was at a convention for um producers in santa clara Ooh, the bay area and i met another statistician oh really just my type very mm-hmm. petite and mm. feminine with mm-hmm. glasses who knew so much statistics Wow. So many statistics and so many wonderful things and educated me on everything from plyometrics <laughs> to the it's age of the universe. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. She was fit. So she and did plyometrics. I am totally enamored. Wow. Okay. So uh, are you still seeing her or are you guys doing the long distance thing? Or... Have you gone out on a date yeah. at all? Or... or just you just talk stats? Well, we went out on a date, um, went out on one date. I got very nervous and vomited in the bathroom. Oh, geez. Oh. Yeah. So after that, I didn't know if she heard me or not. So I didn't know if I should try to kiss her. So I didn't. Okay. So there, there could be some awkwardness now because maybe she doesn't think I'm interested when I am very interested. So I've just been trying to, to find a way to reach out. Oh, so you haven't her. Haven't done like a follow up uh, uh, date at all, or text after the date. Uh, we've been we've been texting, but uh, I think she's very confused. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. it's always a weird one when you don't give her them a kiss. They either think that well, this guy's playing hard to get, or this guy's just not interested. But definitely, if you haven't texted back, then they're gonna think that you're just not interested, and maybe. You oh, should I go texted ahead. back. Oh, okay, did she text yeah. you back? He said they were in I would never go Oh, sorry. Sorry yeah. about that. Sorry, I wasn't listening there. <laughs> I know. Some uh, some, some wannabe <laughs> therapist I am. I don't even listen to people's problems. So, uh, All right. So, But you haven't brought up the fact that you haven't uh, you haven't kissed at all, that you didn't kiss her. Did you Did you just tell her, hey, you know what? I was nervous. but uh, Or, you know what? Just try to go on a second date and then go ahead and make a move. So, Well thought maybe i'd make a joke that uh uh related to her field like you know 23.8 percent of first dates don't end in a kiss or something like that i don't mm-hmm. know i'm just very befuddled wow, um charmingly around. befuddled yeah i am just twitter pated by her i, I want to hear more I, of these words that you are there <laughs> i i wanted 
I want to perform Cunnilingus on oh, her. And you oh, know this how girl rare must be really is. special. Wow. Yeah. You know how rare that is for me yeah. that I actually want to do that. But She's I do. Cunnilingus worthy. Man, that is yeah. great. Yeah, well, She's go for it. Worthy. Sponge worthy. Yeah, that's a good Seinfeld reference there. Uh, nice prophylactic that didn't make it out there. Uh, well, I hope you actually uh, have some some success with this mm -hmm. one because uh, I'm, you know everybody should find true love or find somebody that you can relate with. And it seems like she's the one. But uh, where does she live at, there, Wells? She lives in Quantico, Virginia. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. I oh, think man. she may be doing some freelance for the FBI. Got it. She's going to Fletzy out there, the Federal Law Enforcement uh, Training Center there. Um, wow, that's great. Well, uh, yeah. hopefully you guys can meet up soon and uh, do uh, and, and do some fun stuff, uh, like kind of lingus. Uh, but, Wells, we've got a game for you tonight. Are you excited for this? Uh, I'm you, pumped. Do you want to hear I'm what the name it. of the game is? I'm titillated. What's the name of the game? It's called, Is It a Sex Toy? So you have to guess whether or not the object that we show you is a sex toy. Or it's just a normal object that you can find around the house. I don't know. But, so we're going to show an image on here. And then uh, if you are listening to the podcast, then please go ahead and go to our either our uh, Instagram account or our Twitter account and you will find uh, the pictures. Uh, we'll post them up tomorrow on Sunday and uh, For now, we're gonna go ahead and get this game started. Are you ready Wells? I'm ready. All right, here we go It's time for your favorite sex positive game show. Is it a sex toy? Our contestant will choose if the object shown is an everyday item or something that was made to be a sex toy. Now, here are your hosts, Chet and Diane Ho! I love that song. It's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we, had a, we have a live band that uh, does that song, a great f flautist who uh, rocks it out. But anyways, are you ready for this, Wells? I'm ready. Okay, so, uh, again, we're going to show an image. You're going to say whether or not it is a sex toy or just a normal object that wasn't intended to be a sex toy. So, because, you know, a lot of things could be a sex toy if you use it like that, but we want to make sure everyone is safe, that it don't, well, don't put things where they don't belong. They could cause some type of infection or some type of damage. Or so yes, injury. Injury, so, mm -hmm. or UTI, something like that. So... We'll go ahead and get this started. Wells, tell us, is it a sex toy? Describe for the people listening to the podcast, what is that? They are different colored objects. Um, they are ribbed in the middle. They're mm -hmm. they are, uh, phallic shaped. They're ribbed in the middle and they're mm -hmm. smooth on the end. Okay, so it kind of, yeah, it looks like a sex toy to me. What, what do you think that is? You think it's a sex toy? I think that's a double-sided dildo, so I'm gonna go <laughs> with that's a sex toy. Oh, no. Whoa. No. What no. is it? No. <laughs> it's, uh... it's called a banana bunker. That's uh, that's what people put bananas in if so they, they don't, don't want get it get injured. Or... They don't want the banana mm -hmm. to get squished, so you can put it in a banana bunker and put it in your backpack or your purse, and uh, then the banana stays whole and it doesn't get squished. So that is a banana bunker. Uh, you are o for one, my friend. So uh, we'll move on. Wells, is it a sex toy? So the end of it kind of looks like the bean in Chicago. Oh yeah, yeah, it is uh, it's silvery. It's very metallic. Silvery. Kind of looks like a cock and balls. I don't know. In the back. Mm -hmm. Two little balls there. Mm -hmm. With a phallic-looking thing coming Those out the middle. Very phallic. Right, very phallic. Right, what do you think, there, Wells? Is that a sex toy? The the. This metal, uh, it looks like the Flight of a Navigator, the, uh... Oh, the, yeah. Yeah, the, the Trimaxium drone ship. Yeah, yeah, it totally looks like a, like, if a sex toy was a Trimaxium drone ship, that would be it right there. Uh, compliance. But, yeah, is it a sex toy there, Wells? I'm gonna say no. Ooh. 
Dude, the way you were oh, talking no, wait, about wait, it. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Did no, you it, say it, no? He said no. That's He's correct. Right. That That's is right. correct. Sorry. <laughs> it's uh, a facial massager. That is the Rafa Kara. It is an electronic facial massager. Man, I am. Uh, I gotta listen more. Remember that. Establish that. You got your 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 one for two there. Wells, uh, that, yep, so it is an expensive facial massager that will go ahead and put some type of electronic charge on Simulate your face. Simulate the collagen. Yep, yep, and massage it. Uh, it's, yeah, but it does look like a, a very metallic robot cock and balls. Mm -hmm. So we'll move on. Wells, is this a sex toy? What? It looks like one of those facial scrubbers. Yeah, yeah, it does look like a facial mm -hmm. scrubber. Mm -hmm. like you put it on your face and remove blackheads and, uh, you know, scrub out the blackheads. I don't know. Well, what do you think? Is that a sex toy? I'm going to say yes. Uh, oh. That is a sex toy. No, you said yes. You said yes. that it was a sex I toy. Said yes. You were wrong, Chet. Well, oh, is right. Oh, man. I am sorry. So uh, should I do the board instead? Yes. Yes, you do the sound effects. Uh, <laughs> All uh, right, you, you, you just tell me if it's right or okay, wrong. Okay, I will. I am drinking some uh So, some yes, whiskey. it's a sex toy. It is a sex it toy. It is a sex toy. That is correct. Uh, yeah, I know. Just how you're talking about it. It looks like a facial massager. So, yeah, I'm going to say it's a sex toy. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is called the uh, Satisfier, the Pro 2 Air Pulse. Uh, it shoots a little air uh, stimulation on your clitoris. Have you used one of those, Diane? I have not. So no, we have I, a clit sucker. What does mm -hmm. that do? Does that kind of does that suck or does it pulse air or both? I don't think it does the air. Yeah, it no. looks like it's the same concept though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, we haven't. We don't have one of those. All right. Well, so I'm gonna get it right this time. We're gonna move yeah, on yeah, and you're, just. You're you're two for three, my friend. So see what our next. What's toy the next is one? Or not? Well, is this a sex toy? What do you see? So that looks like a flashlight. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. The dead ringer for a flashlight. So I'm going to say yes, it's a sex toy. It's a sex, sex toy. toy. I got that one right. So it is not a sex toy. That's just a flashlight. Actual flashlight. <laughs> That's an actual flashlight. So. Good for blackouts and yeah. earthquakes. Yeah, it looks like it could be a flashlight if you remove the base and then there's a pocket pussy on there. But no, no, that's just a normal flashlight that happens mm -hmm. to be nice and thick. Uh, moving on there, Wells. Here we go. What do you see there? Is that a sex toy? That looks like a rubber ducky. That looks like a rubber ducky. Um, I would agree with that. But, uh, with this game, who knows? Maybe <laughs> you put the bill on someone's clit or something. <laughs> so, uh, this, this feels like it might be a Japanese sex toy, but I guess I will say... <laughs> No, it's not a sex toy. It's not a sex you toy. You are correct. There you go. Oh, thank God. Um, yeah, so there is an actual rubber ducky. And that one is actually the That's the, the sex real toy. sex toy uh, that they made into a sex toy. I was just trying to throw a curveball at you. Is it you. from Japan? I don't know. You can mm. find it on Amazon. I, I mean, there isn't everything. Made, well, it's probably made in China, but... Uh, moving on. Wells... Is that a sex toy? Okay, so that just looks like a lipstick. <laughs> um, oh, is but, it? Or, or is it a sex toy? I don't it know. What you but it's like, that's a large, I mean, I don't know what the scale is, but that looks like a large lipstick. It looks like an unnaturally large lipstick. So okay. I'm going to say, yes, it's a sex toy. Oh, man. Yeah. Jeez, that is... Uh... That is uh, just a tube of lipstick, so <laughs> this is a tube of lipstick. <laughs> but uh, to be fair, there are sex toys that look like tubes of lipstick. Like those ones are actual sex toys, and mm -hmm. so is this one. It's also a sex toy. Uh, again, throwing you a curveball there uh, to try to throw you off. But um, you got two right and four wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, we're Wait, moving on. Wait, I got on. three right. Oh, did you? Which I one got, did you get? Yeah, I got three. <laughs> All right. You're three and three. Three and three shouldn't be drinking to be keeping score. Should have a scorekeeper right now. Anyways, this is why I'm the host and not the producer at the same time, but I'm doing everything. So here we go. What do you see there, Wells? Is it a sex toy? That says O'Toole Stout. Um, imported. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say it's beer. It's the beer. Uh... 
That is a sex that toy. Sex toy. <laughs> it says O'Doyle's. What and is it? It sees do? it sells backdoor stout served warm. So you and, open it up and, and it's, it's a, a pocket butthole. It's a butthole because it says O'Doyle's backdoor stout, and you open the bottom up. Oh, uh, see, the back door wasn't very visible. Yeah, it's really hard to see. And this looks like yeah. it says it's a duels, but um. But I guess that's uh probably the point that it's a very discreet. Mm-hmm. somebody mm-hmm. just think there's a beer left under your bed so they yeah. think you're an alcoholic and not someone who had an anal sex toy yeah. until you read the fine print where it says serve warm yeah and it's a backdoor stout which doesn't exist or it's just a beer that you would never want to drink uh but we'll move on wells is this a sex toy what do you think that uh, looks like mascara mm-hmm. it looks like mascara all right and I'm toy? assuming that whether or not this is a, a sex toy, that there's something else that looks like mascara <laughs> that is a sex toy. I'm going to say no, it's just mascara. <laughs> oh. It's actually a sex toy. Well, it is. Uh, it's called the Screaming O Vibrating Mascara. You can keep this in your purse and pull it out, and it looks like the little the part where you put the it wand. on the uh, the wand is actually the part where you put it on your vagina or your clitoris. There, very discreet. Very discreet. Um, yeah. Uh, Wells, you are yeah three right and five wrong. Uh, we'll move on. Wells, this is a sex toy. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> that... It's just a big pink blob. I don't know it what it is. To, it appears to be on a bar. Mm, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, it's a sex toy. Fuck it. I don't know. <laughs> okay. What is that? that? <laughs> it is a water wiggler. A popular toy with kids. You try to grab it and it In just slips right out. <laughs> the 80s and early 90s you grab it and it slips out of your hands because something i mean it defies the laws of physics on how to make it it's basically a plastic bag that somehow they turn in on itself and there's water inside but you grab it so it just like it slides out but it kind of looks like you can put your penis in there you probably you, could, you could in theory i mean it would have to be a small penis um but maybe uh, somebody who's probably use it for a sex toy but not intended to be a sex toy it's a water wiggler moving on Wells, is this a sex toy? Well, I mean that, that could just be used for makeup. Or it could be one of those Japanese egg things. <laughs> what do you think? I'm gonna say, yeah, it's a sex toy. <laughs> Jeez, man. Uh, that is just a makeup See, I'm, <laughs> I'm playing the odds. Yeah, I know it looks like a makeup sponge, but I'm playing the odds that one of these is going to be a sex toy. Got it, got it. We're just, uh, I guess we know you too well, and we're just fucking with you too much. Um, no, that's just a makeup sponge. You put yeah. it in makeup and you dab it on your head. But, you know, Diane's used these, and every time I walk past it on our makeup He's uh, tempted to use like, it too. I was like, that looks like a butt plug. And it's definitely a butt plug. It's just too squishy. You wouldn't want to put that in your butt because it would just go whack, and then it would get stuck. So don't put uh, makeup sponges in your butt, people. Moving on. Wells, is this a sex toy? Well, you played a lot of psychological Well, that looks games like a it. lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's a sex toy. Uh, oh, finally. Here yes. you go. You got that one right. It is a sex toy. It is called The Wink by Pulse, and we actually got this one. We got it today. Uh, yeah, we got it today. I was, while we were making this game, we were just like, hey, that looks like a good one. It is a silent, discreet, small, little, uh, powerful sex toy. It uh, has five uh, vibrating settings. And, uh, yeah. We, yeah, what do you think, Diane? What do you think of this sex toy? Well, we gotta try it out. We gotta try it out. So, since we just got it, it's Mm -hmm. uh, it's not something that uh, we have tried. There's a 30 day Mm. uh, warranty. warranty. Yeah, well, you can turn it, you can send it back and they'll give you your money back if you don't like it. Because that's great if you want to go to, um, what did I say the name of the place? It was Wink. I think it's by Pulse. I think the name is Pulse. Pulse. They also have like a little uh, necklace that you can use. But, um, Anyways, go to their website. It is kind of expensive, but, you know, it, it's powerful and it's quiet and it's discreet. And that's what we were looking for. Um, I feel like it could be 
wedged on your clitoris while I am licking or putting my penis in and uh, hopefully it's uh, powerful enough for Dan that she could uh, have a lot of fun with it. So anyways, yeah, we'll that get makes back sense. to you on that. Moving on, Wells, is this a sex toy? That looks like a sex toy to me. You are correct. Mm-hmm. That is a oh. sex toy. That is part of the um, makeup collection. The makeup sex collection, toy. the Screaming O kit. So uh, they have, there's a whole kit of makeup of uh, sex toys. It's uh, it's really hard to see here, but mm-hmm. it, there's a a lipstick, a brush, and the mascara that we showed earlier, along with some lube and some uh, like a uh, magic bullet with some. Um, uh, lip balm, and that's the whole kit, like a makeup kit, but they're all sex toys, so that's fun. Uh, moving on, is this a sex toy, Wells? For those that can't see it, um, it looks like pig nostrils <laughs> connected to a pan of coke and <laughs> what the like a Dutch what? pancake, uh, kind of. Uh, uh, but, but is it a sex toy? Uh, an elephant ear. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. <laughs> All right, uh, that is correct. It is not a sex toy. It's, it's a weenus. It's a weenus. Skin on your elbow. That is the skin on your elbow. That's Just a scrunched weenus. up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You are tied. You have six right and six wrong. We have the tiebreaker right now, oh. right here, Wells. You can win a sex toy if you get this one right. Wells, is it a sex toy? That thing? Yep, that thing. What is this? <laughs> Describe it. it kind of looks like Sean the that... Sheep. It really does. Well, it kind of looks like um, a uterus and fallopian tubes. Yeah, that's oh. With eyes. Sure, why not? Yeah, that looks cute. Or it could be a children's toy. Maybe. Finger puppet. Mm-hmm. Could be either. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. I'm going to flip this coaster here. <laughs> Coaster says no, it's not. Not a sex toy. That oh, is a sex toy. That is called the Eva 2. And this is a very strange sex toy. It actually rests inside of the vagina. Uh, between the labia, sorry, not in the vagina, of course, but in the labia majora. And it, uh, as you can see here, it, uh, it, it goes in, and then you hit this button, and then it vibrates on top of your clit. But I don't understand how anybody could put their penis into this little area right here. Um, I, I, they, uh, they, yeah. Is it for that, or is it just female masturbation? No, there's a whole video where they have, like... Uh, Couples. Men, couples, and they say, like, the, the guy is like, yeah, I could, didn't even notice it was there, but I was like, man, you would have to have a small penis to get it in there. Like, I, yeah. don't, I don't, I mean, even if, like, you put it in, I feel like just pulling your penis out could, like, knock the thing out. I don't, I don't it understand. It would seem like that, but I haven't yeah. tried it. But, yeah, we, we it, mm-hmm. it runs for, like, $140, and it's called the Eva 2, and now I can't remember the website, but we'll uh, go mm-hmm. ahead and put it up on uh, Twitter or Instagram. We did put googly eyes on it. Yeah, just to we throw fucked you with you there, man. That uh, that doesn't. I feel like eyes. that. I feel like that DQs you. Then I feel like that's <laughs> that, that's a mistrial because you misrepresented what it was. <laughs> but but it is the thing. Uh, that was the final one. You're tied up. All right. <laughs> We'll give you a sex toy, Wells. You just tell us what you want, and we'll get you something for you, man. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, a, a latex club and a... Uh, fold the towel. And fold the towel. You go make your own pocket pussy from home there. Right? No? You've been a good sport. Uh, thanks so much for playing. Yeah! do 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 Enough of that. All right. Um, that was fun. I hope you had fun there, Wells. We had a blast. Uh, everybody at home there, I hope you had uh, fun as well. Um, Wells, we'll go ahead and stop with the game show. Do you have any calls coming in on the old switchboard? So this is going to be an interesting one. This is mm-hmm. Katie, and she mm-hmm. now lives in a state that has banned abortion. And since then, she cannot get physically aroused. Okay. Mm. 
Um, hello, you're talking sex live with Chet and Diane. I am Chet. And I'm Diane. Is this Katie? Hi, uh, yeah, this is Katie. Hi. Oh, oh wow. Hello. You sound very young. Mm -hmm. Um, are you, um, how are you doing tonight, Katie? I'm good. I'm not that young, y'all. I'm 22. Oh, okay. Well, that's still... No, that's, uh, anyway. that's good. Yeah, that's great. That's a good age. Mm -hmm. Good age to uh, explore and have fun with your sexuality. Uh, so, you live in a state that just recently became... Uh, Illegal to get an abortion. Yes. Yeah, so, is that Indiana? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd rather not say... I have I, no problem. I just feel like, yeah, yeah. I, you, people are looking at people right now, and I'm no. just not comfortable with that. Totally. I mean, that's why... Based weird. on the accent, I'd say she's from Tennessee. Mm. Did they also just recently outlaw uh, abortion? I mean, no, the, a lot of yeah. on the books, but only, like, I thought only Indiana went through. But, um, so, you're saying that you can't, uh, you can't, you're not aroused anymore because you, you can't get an abortion. Is that correct? Well, I, I mean, yes. It's, it's not exactly that. I mean... Mm -hmm. I still have the urges and I still want to go out and have fun like I mm -hmm. used to. Mm -hmm. And, but there, and it's, uh, please, I'm using contraception, but contraception fails. And it, mm -hmm. it was always nice to know that I had a, an option. Got it. So mm -hmm. what I, what I find is happening now is I'll get really close, maybe, you know, with somebody I've been seeing for a while and, you know, we're, we're starting to get more physical and then kind of at the last minute, I just kind of clench up. So, so you're saying that you're actually having sex, but then you stop, or you clench up as in like more of like you're, I, before, you can't you can't actually I can have do sex. Anything. Oh, you, you don't before actually they get physical. I, I, got physical. Got it. Got it. Got it. Right. I just and, didn't and, know if I was a euphemism. You know, in this I want to get married one day, yeah. and I want to have children one mm -hmm. day, mm -hmm. but I can't start a relationship just in, with marriage. Well, I mean, so if how you am go I ever going to find like, somebody? I, like Christians or, or like evangelicals don't want to have sex before married. You can go that route, even if you're not religious. Nah, well, nope. <laughs> well, still, says, still, well says otherwise. They, uh, they say that, but yeah, statistically they, they do. They do yeah. have sex. Yeah. Or, or you could go like, I remember when I was in college, I had a lot of Mormon friends and the, the rumor was they had a lot of anal sex. I, I don't know if that's actual true or not, but, uh, anyways, Katie. So, um, yeah, this is an interesting problem that mm -hmm. you just, you can't even get to a point where you Have get you physical. Have you thought about just doing oral sex with your partner? Mm -hmm. That would do it. And you wouldn't get pregnant? That is, Diane, yes, I have thought of it, and I appreciate mm -hmm. that suggestion. But no man is satisfied with that forever, and I, I don't okay. even know if I'm ready. I mean, I'm 22. I, I want to start my career before I have kids. Got mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could just say that you're religious and be, uh, you sound very pretty. So, I mean, if most men, if like you just do oral and just say like, hey, I'm you waiting know, for marriage. I'm waiting for marriage to put it in my vagina. And um, I think most men will respect that if it is true love and they do actually are in a relationship with you, with you they'll, they'll wait. Um, but so it's just Katie a, is is part of the issue that um, you're scared you won't be able to get an abortion? Is that why you can't get aroused? Well, I just, you know, when it's somebody, when it's somebody new that you want to be physical with, you don't want to be stuck in that kind of commitment when you don't fully know the person. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. to, be, to be honest, I, I am not particularly religious and Nobody's a cow, but I don't want to buy something I haven't tasted the milk of. Oh, yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand so, that. So, Katie, do you have the means, and would you be able to go to a different state if um, you got pregnant? A lot of places can pay for that, actually, if you want to go to a different state. You just got to do some research, and they'll actually fund your travel expenses to go over. But I mean, what if I don't realize in time? What if, what if something happens and there's nothing I can do and then I'm trapped and maybe with someone that I don't even want to be with long term? Got it. Well, with the, with the fetal viability <laughs> standard, you would definitely realize that you were pregnant before 
um, you would be unable to get an abortion. Mm -hmm. uh, that standard is applied in uh, states where abortion is still legal. Oh, I don't understand what that is there, Wells. Do you want to explain that a little bit more? The the fetal, what did you call it? So that? I believe it was uh, Casey versus Planned Parenthood in 1990 that um, established the fetal viability standard. And that is if the fetus could survive outside of the mother, then the only instance in which abortion would be acceptable and, and legal would be if uh, the mother's life were in danger or if the fetus wasn't viable and mm. that i believe is around it's something like 22 or 24 weeks so what the supreme court overturned roe v wade that didn't overturn that uh law is that correct like that's Casey still, versus planned parenthood yeah, yeah it's um, still in, on the books I or think, whatever no i believe that they did Mm -hmm. But in states where abortion is still legal, mm -hmm. I think Casey versus Planned Parenthood may still be uh, the law of the land. Mm -hmm. uh, I will do some research on this. Interesting. Um, so, Katie, I guess we're trying to get you to a point where you are comfortable having sex, and it seems uh, it's it it seems like a a, a big hurdle for you. Um, and so, the oral is one. The having, uh, just telling your man that you're not ready. Um, there's a lot of contraceptions out there that, I mean, they're not 100%, but they're pretty close. So you, so you I have could... had condoms break three times. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I, I understand. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can double up uh, contraception. So if you were to put take birth control or take Depo Vivera, or you can put in a... Um, IUD. IUD that I was yeah. going to say dental dam, but that wasn't correct. Sorry. No. Uh, they put an IUD in and have them have a condom on at the same time. Then I mean, just doubling up doubling the protection. Doubling chances. Yeah. yeah, you can. You you almost like ninety nine percent chance that you like will not have will not be pregnant. Uh, also. You uh, if if you know you could also have them withdrawal after you have sex, um, or just a different mean uh, means of having sex. So penetration, yes, but then have do you enjoy oral like on yourself? Do you want your man to administer cunnilingus on you? I mean, yes, but mm -hmm. not exclusively. Yeah, yeah, but like you can vary it up. So if you was to actually you know, penetrate you and then say like, hey, you know what? I prefer to only orgasm while you uh, administer cunnilingus on me. And then so by the point where you uh, almost are about to orgasm, you have them pull out and then go down on you. And then uh, then you go ahead and, you know, either jerk them off or suck them off. If, if that's something that you're interested in, if you don't like to have uh, ejaculate in your mouth, then go ahead and, you know, nix that idea. But uh, there, there's options, you know, there's there's times of the month or things that happen with Diane that we uh, can't do certain acts. And so we just it's it's all it's like basically we're improvising with having sex. We, we try to figure out what works best for us and then we go ahead and uh, do that. And, and we're just so that we're both satisfied. So, um, I mean, it's, are those sound like some options that you would, would enjoy or? You guys have made me feel so much better. Mm. Because That's great. I, I, look, I, I mean, I love sex. I mm -hmm. really love sex. That's great. And it felt like I was missing a very big part of my life. And all these people deciding what I can do with my body was mm -hmm. freaking me out. But you guys yeah. have given me some really doable options. Yeah, I, I mean, there. we want people to, to practice safe sex. Uh, I... When I use condoms with Diane, I prefer the the skin, S-K-Y-N by Lifestyles or Skin Premier. It almost feels like the real thing. Mm -hmm. it, sometimes I can't even tell. Uh, and it, that's a great condom. That's my favorite. Uh, it depends on what the man is. But you can always have a huge stockpile of those for any man who's like, you know what, I, I want to ejaculate. And you're like, you know what, I, I only use condoms. And believe it or not, uh, Diane isn't on any type of birth control. Like she doesn't want to put any type of uh, hormones in her body. 
and that's her choice. And so uh, we find ways to not impregnate her, um, and it works out fine. So mm-hmm. we've been together for a long time. We have a ton of sex, and it we and we 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 don't get pregnant because we are cautious and i mean i'm sure if we wanted to get pregnant we could really quickly Mm -hmm. uh but we go through the extra lengths to make sure that it doesn't happen so there is ways uh you just have to be open with your partner and let them know this is if you want to have sex with me this is what you have to do and even though you know condoms can break i've never had one of those skin condoms break we had one break on us not the skin though did no. you remember that? No, but, yeah, not the skin. I can't remember what kind it was. Yeah, that, I mean, those, I, I, I highly recommend the lifestyle skins, but those are my favorite. It's just my personal preference. But anyways, uh, those are the routes that I would go. Katie, I hope you helped you out there. You did. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. You too. And I'm going stay... to now. <laughs> yes, yeah. good thing. Happy uh, to hear that. Stay safe, stay in consensual, and have a good evening. You too. Thanks. Uh, so thanks for all the input there, Wells. Uh, do you have any, you said you were going to do some research for some follow-up. Did you find anything? Yeah, I was almost right. It was 1992 was Casey versus Planned Parenthood. Okay. Um, and now that it's been struck down, as well as um, Roe versus Wade, it'll be up to every state to decide what, what viability <laughs> standard that they want to have um when they enshrine their right to abortion into law as i believe california did recently mm-hmm. they like upped yeah. up their like abortion laws like just like yeah we're gonna help out more people so good for california um yeah did you find out anything else about all that or is that was uh no most states are still going by the fetal viability standard it looks like interesting hmm. Yep. Hmm. All right. Well, that was a fun, uh, fun call there. Um, can't uh, can't go wrong with abortion talk. But anyway, so Wells, do we have another caller coming in? Yeah, we have Aaron. Uh, mm-hmm. He's starting to regret a recent marriage. Ooh. Mm. Hello. You're talking six months with Chet and Diane. Hello. <laughs> I'm Hello, Chet. Chet and Diane. Hey. Yeah, how's, I'm Diane. how's it going? I'm all right, good, Aaron. Good. How are you doing, Aaron? Good, good. I'm really enjoying the hot abortion statute talk tonight. Okay, oh, yeah. I, I, well, you know, it, people have strong opinions either they, way. They do. It could go on forever. Like I tell all my friends, mm-hmm. like I tell all of my friends, this is the only sex talk show where you'll get a law, basic law on abortion. Yes, very much so. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so you, you're saying you're having some problems with your marriage, or is this you're regretting it? Is that right? Yeah, well, I'm kind of having second thoughts. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a fairly new marriage, uh, and I don't know if that's normal or if no, it's, it's uh, totally normal. You know, I'm just something wrong. Yeah. Uh, anything uh, specific? But, the reason why, or you're just, uh, you're, you're uh, yeah. What, what's the specific reason there? Well, maybe maybe I should just give some more details. See, mm-hmm. I'm in a sologamy marriage. A sologamy, a sologamy? Um, with an S, not a, a pol- sol- sol- sologamy. Uh, with a it, fairly like a, common, wait, it's, a, like a, it's an actual marriage. It's a PST stalagmy, or a, how do you spell S-O-L, it? Sure. Oh. S O L O G A M Y. Okay, stalagmy. Okay. You never heard of this? No, I don't think I we have. Know. Wells, have you heard of a stalagmy um, marriage? Wells is going to look it up right now. But go ahead. Yeah, I'm looking it up. Yeah, well, I'll just give it to you right now. You don't have to look it up. I mean, mm, uh, mm-hmm, it's, uh, mm-hmm. this isn't a joke. This is a real thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm married oh, to myself. Oh, okay. I'm married to myself. Mm-hmm. Legally married to myself. Interesting. Okay. Well, I, I mean, am my own bride. I am my own groom. Huh. Got it. Uh, and well, I'm I, newly married to myself. Okay. And now you're regretting it. Well, uh, I mean, I, yeah. I, I feel like you, if if you want to go back on that, it's not a big deal. You're not going to lose anything. You know? Yeah, it's you, pretty easy. Yeah, you, I mean, it, unless you put some type of you made I yourself mean, I, sign a prenup that uh, somehow you're I mean, going to give up economy. something. Uh, yeah. Well, I really do, I feel like a failure if I just walk out on this marriage. My Got my it. parents were divorced. Got it. So and like, I don't want to be another you know statistic of divorce. Got it. You, you I really want to work things that... out with myself. 
I mean, if you if you have a dating profile, you got to put divorced on there. Mm-hmm. It's also like the whole yeah, yeah. cheaper to keep her. Like it's, I mean, I don't know if it's cheaper. In cheaper your to keep her? You yeah. haven't heard that? Like if you're married to someone, like divorces are so expensive. And then if you have to like, you're going to have to give this lady alimony and you have to give her half of the house and all this stuff is just, well, it, you know, I'm not happy in this marriage, but it's cheaper to keep her. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think that applies to you because it's just yourself, unless, like I was saying, you I mean, divorce something. is divorce, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, that divorce is, is divorce, and you just gotta give up half. Mm-hmm. So I'm yeah. gonna lose half of my stuff to, to yourself. yourself. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. do you? I, I mean, I hate to ask this, but do you have split personalities, or you just you just in no, no? I'm perfectly. This is a like I said. This isn't a joke. I'm not no, doing I'm not some sort of joke. comedy show bit here. This not is a real all. thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not some freak that you know marries you know a sex doll mm. or an avatar on the computer I or wouldn't say cardboard that's a freak. cutouts. No, I mean neither would I. Neither happens. would I. But uh, some people, you know, I'm. This is a very adult, consum- uh, consummated marriage mm-hmm. between mm-hmm. myself and I. Okay. I had a uh, whole. I had a whole ceremony mm-hmm. where coworkers and friends came, my family mm-hmm. members. Uh, I got a little bit uh, awkward at the marriage where I think the problem started, where my father started screaming that I'm a moron <laughs> and I'm making a huge mistake with my life. And I'm like, I'm in love, father. Yeah, I'm in well. love to me. I love me. Got okay. It. This was an episode of Sex in the City. So it's real. Mm-hmm. So you're going to have to just live with it. Wow. I, I mean, yeah. it's it's great that you love yourself. There's a there's a lot of people out there who don't like themselves. And if, if you are really comfortable with who you are and you love yourself so much that you want to marry yourself, then that sounds great. Uh, and if you feel comfortable just doing things on your own sexually as opposed to doing things with others, then, you know, there's I don't feel there's anything wrong with that either. So, but I, I just... The whole but the marriage uh, is getting kind of old. It's getting yeah, kind of old. The marriage. That you, I look I at mean, myself in the mirror and I said, mm-hmm, "I can do better. Mm-hmm. I can do better than me." Oh, all right. Well, it sounds like you're having some self doubt. Then, if you think you can do yourself better, I mean, it's all right. Like, I mean, I, I love me. Yeah. I love me. I'm my own best friend. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. I love I mean, taking parks with my walks on the beach with myself. Mm-hmm. Candlelit mm-hmm. dinners. Um, mm-hmm. our anniversary is coming up and oh. I don't know what to do anymore. So is that your birthday? No, my anniversary. anniversary. Uh, I don't know. I just think I just my figured... birthday, my, my birthday is the day after my anniversary. That's easy. To yeah, that is. That is really easy. I'm just yeah. saying like, you know, it would make sense in my head if your marriage date was, or your, I guess it depends if your anniversary of your wedding or your anniversary when you first met or when your anniversary, when you're on your first date. Or you could do both. No, or both. Yeah. Some people do both. Yeah. Um, but I, I just, I, a lot of questions come to mind about how you do certain things. And I don't know if you feel comfortable in yes, answering a lot of those things. Uh, like, I mean, it, of course, masturbating, but there's a lot of fun things you can do by yourself. I'm sorry, yourself. what? I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, I'm just saying, because you consummated the marriage. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. curious on how that happened. Well, I'm, uh, I'm married. Uh, I'm married. I don't, I don't self-pleasure anymore i'm a married man <laughs> i'm a married you... man so i have consensual sex with myself got it so see, very, but how does that work hot. so do you I, I mean does your penis like curve so you, you're able to put it in your own anus or does that or you just masturbate um, or well once again i don't mm-hmm. masturbate okay. okay this is a marriage mm-hmm. between me and i okay, okay. so it's not that uh, I, I'm, I do pretty well. It's pretty, oh, yeah. uh, you know, there's the honeymoon phase of the marriage, but it's mm-hmm. kind of, kind of, uh, kind of, uh, getting old. Yeah. I, I why, mean, uh, mm-hmm. If there's anything I can do, if you have any advice for me, how I can spice up this marriage. Okay. So I well, was, what made you want to marry again. yourself in the first place? Yeah. What, what turned your on about yourself? I mean, I just, I, I'm just like the greatest guy. Mm-hmm. I'm the I'm a real catch, and if I thought if I don't put a finger on my other hand, someone's gonna come around and take me away. Got it, got it. You gotta mm-hmm. you gotta put a ring on it. So, mm-hmm. and Do I don't want to I don't want to live in you know like regret of. of Do you have a ring on both? That got away. 
They have a ring on both fingers? I'm just, I'm just saying, both both ring fingers have... No? I have a one giant one giant ring. <laughs> just, a, just a bracelet, basically? Uh, it's 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 uh between a ring and a bracelet. Got it. Inside. Okay. That's uh, all it right. It falls so, off a lot. <clears throat> yeah, that would make sense. Um, I I always go to oral, but I don't know how you're supposed to administrate oral on yourself unless you're unless like unless you're a, like a really yogi. lucky. Yeah, you're a yogi. Uh-huh. Flexible. Or I guess if you have a really big penis and you're flexible, you can give yourself um, mm-hmm. oral. I I, I mean. A... I, I got hate... this thing called the, I got this Go thing called the banana bunker. <laughs> it doesn't seem to work very well. I think I, it's I, broken. It's not made for sex. Uh, just to let you know. What? About that. No, it's not. Are you it sure? Really it's made for bananas. Have you to seen it? Them. I have. It's, it's okay. It does not look comfortable to put insert into I'm anything. I'm pretty sure it's a sex toy. <laughs> yeah, Wells. Wells, do you think it's a sex toy or no? The banana bunker. The banana bunker. I'm yeah. googling it now, and yeah, now you're it doesn't it really look like it. It seems pretty hard. Yeah, it seems very uncomfortable. But um, do you? I, I hate to ask personal questions, but this is a sex no, talk show. Fine. Do you? Do you enjoy anal play with yourself? I mean, that's it's perfectly normal. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Do you? Do nothing you... to save a marriage like anal play. Yeah, right? I mean, <laughs> um, things go south. Go south. Uh, I... On special occasions, mm-hmm. uh, one time I brought myself flowers just for mm-hmm. no reason whatsoever, mm-hmm. just because I thought I looked beautiful today, mm-hmm. and uh, I gave myself anal. Oh. So, yeah, you know, some, once in a while. It's, it's an every once in a while thing. Okay, so... Yeah, it's a but, special thing. But, yeah, uh, um, oral's not working for you, of course. Uh, hold on, real Wells, what's some things that you can do? To spice up his marriage? Why doesn't he uh, take a trip with himself or cook himself a fancy meal? Or uh, do some daily affirmations in the mirror? That might, uh, that might affirm you know, his, own, his own worth, which is the reason why he uh, married himself in the first place. Yeah, I, I totally uh, go about okay. with that. Um, well, I have a I have a couples cruise planned with myself. Okay. Uh, there you go. Next year, early next year. So typically, There's... like a couple cruise, they don't allow just one person on. So how do you did you just? Well, just... I'm. Uh... Go ahead. I mean, I'm a married couple. Oh, I'm right. married to myself. Got once it. Again, like this is once again, this is not a joke. I'm not doing. No, but if you show bit, up yeah. by yourself, and it happens uh-huh. to just be you. They might be a little with upset myself. about yeah. So with do you yourself. buy two tickets then, or do you buy <laughs> yeah. one ticket? I I bought one ticket, but I bought it, but I made a photocopy of it. Mm. Mm. All right, interesting. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I'm just I'm trying to get to a point. You, you got to make a decision whether or not you want to keep this up and you want to start dating, yeah. or you want to divorce yourself. Uh, yeah. Sorry, no, 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 sorry. You want to keep up the marriage and figure out how to work it out, or you divorce yourself and you start dating again. Those are your two options, basically. Uh, I mean, what would make you happier? I mean, getting in the dating field? I mean, maybe you can... I mean, I got to ask, I I don't have a whole lot of experience with this type of uh, cello, sexual... Sologamy. Sologamy, sorry. It seems like it should be cello, sexual, but... Uh, do you do are you attracted to men or are you attracted to women? I mean, maybe you could just find another man that looks a lot like you, and you can start dating the man. Uh, what, what do you think? I'm attracted to the content of a character of a person. Okay, so you're asexual then. And I don't oh, sorry, think that's not asexual. asexual. Pansexual. Pansexual. I believe it's pansexual. Okay. Asexuals, you're not sexual at all. Pansexual means that you are just attracted to well, people. Once again, once again, I just, I just sexuality. I just want well, to make this of. clear that I don't. I just want to make this clear. I don't. I didn't marry an inanimate object like a pan. Yeah, exactly. I married no, myself. Not, not a pan. It's just what it's called. It's called a pansexual. <laughs> There's no. 
it, yeah, it's not, I mean, you don't, the, not attracted to men or women or non-binary. You're, you're attracted to just anybody who just is a person. Yeah, and you might like their personality. Yeah, just something. like personalities just turn you on. Maybe you're pansexual and you should and just start. If that, uh, and if that person is myself. Yeah, but you know what? The, you the, said you're, you're not happy with yourself. And so, you know... Treat it like any other relationship and just, you know, end it, break up. You really have nothing to lose. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can still love yourself. Well, won't you he have to pay yeah. alimony to himself? Well, I mean, it's all a net gain of zero, yeah. so who cares? <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. So. I live in I live in California, and let me tell yeah. you, I'm going to yeah. be paying out of my po- – I'm going to be taking pocket out of one side of my po- – money out of one side mm-hmm. of my pocket – and putting it in the other pocket. But the, it's still in the other pocket, so it doesn't matter. You know what? It, but it's not it, in the original pocket, though. So. Yeah, but exactly. you know, you, you might be able to make money off that. There's some way to manipulate that, uh, those accounts to actually start uh, boosting profits. But don't, you know, don't tell the feds about it because you could actually, uh, you know, you could go to jail for that. Uh, you didn't hear that from this show, no, folks. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah. But. Uh, That's my disclaimer. Yeah. I so, think you just encouraged him to commit a felony on, on air. <laughs> you did, Chad. So, I don't know exactly how to do it, though. That's a thing. Like, I, I don't know if I you don't, know if it's a thing, but I think it might be a thing. So I don't. We don't advocate for this no, again. No, not at all. I think the uh, I think the feds were looking for that in Florida earlier this week. Oh yes, at Mar-a-Lago. Might have so, been. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I read uh, that. I saw that on the internet. Yes, it happens. Uh, so, but. You, you gotta I'm trying to say is that you know you can you're okay if you end your relationship and start anew and just start dating anybody it's like a male female non-binary just anybody who you're attracted to if you're attracted to yourself just find somebody else who has qualities that are the that are like yours and then you know maybe you'll mm. fall in love and you'll find a deeper love and you'll have more fun with uh, a partner than just yourself so or if you have tens of thousands of dollars in disposable income, you could uh, get a sex robot and make it look like yourself. Yeah, yeah, I, I we know a guy. Yeah. We know a guy who could do that for you. Uh, what's his name? Danny uh, Bananas. Danny Bananas. Yeah. Not to be confused with the uh, the banana bunker, but Danny Bananas out of Las Vegas will get you. Does he do robots though? Well, that's well. That's sex toys, sex toy robots, and so he made some oh. of us that he yeah. still hasn't delivered. That he constantly so has. I'll sex talk with him. I know, never he actually wants to give it to us, but we'll get you in contact yeah. with Danny Bananas to okay. actually make a sex toy of yourself, and then you can just have sex okay. with yourself. So yeah. Well, uh, with a name like Danny Bananas, you know it has to be a great sex to- you, robot. You can't go wrong. So, uh, you cannot go wrong. With I'm gonna really Bananas. think about this. I'm gonna really think about this relationship. I'm gonna look take a like a mm-hmm. long, long, long look in the mirror tonight. Like a mm-hmm. long look in the mirror. Yeah, and, and I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna really get down and figure it out with myself. Mm-hmm. But uh, thank you for the advice, y'all. As always, you uh, you're uh, you're you're uh, always offering the most. Best advice on the internet. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad that you, we got the best out there. So, well, Aaron, I, I hope you stay sex positive in all this and that you stay safe. Don't do anything that would hurt yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, sane and consensual. Be safe, sane and consensual. Be sex positive out there, my friend. And have a good evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Uh, Wells, have you ever thought about having a relationship with yourself or just have being more just do you know what? I'm going to spend the next month just doing fun stuff with me, whether it's going out and doing, just going to a movie or going to dinner by yourself or just masturbating constantly. I mean, I've done all those things. I didn't yeah, consider I think we it all to have. be a relationship with <laughs> yeah, myself. You know? I, I go out by myself. Yeah. I, I say I, I deserve it. I really don't like having dinner by myself. I don't think I've ever watched a movie by myself. Huh, I never. I don't mind being by myself. Yeah, I don't know I if do I've ever watched a movie by myself. I'm with you there, Wells. Yeah, I feel like yeah. it just, I need to be with Except somebody. Except you're not with me because we're each watching a movie. <laughs> I know, right? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Different, different movies. Um, I think I've, well, I mean, at, when I do work and I go out in the field and then I have to eat. But, I mean, going to like a, like a, uh, like a, just a normal restaurant i mean it's like a a lunch place isn't isn't that big a deal like eating like a tommy john's or something like that that's not really 
eaten out by yourself. That's not really uh, eating a meal by yourself. Yeah, I wouldn't go to like a formal restaurant. Yeah, Yeah. I wouldn't go to like a, you know, a nice, you know, uh, Red Lobster. I mean, Red Red Lobster. (laughs) An Olive Garden. Uh, Because when you're here, your family and just get a never ending pasta bowl and some breadsticks. um, I wouldn't do that by myself. I don't know. I just feels interesting. I don't know. Hmm. But that's just me. Um, Yeah, I don't have a problem doing that by myself. But, uh, but I also like to read a lot. Yeah, and I like to masturbate a lot, so I guess to each his own. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we all do our things on our own, just as long as you, you know, practice good self-care. I highly recommend looking in the mirror and finding out something that you like about yourself and just saying daily affirmations, as stupid as it may sound, just... Tell yourself things that you like about yourself and be happy with who you are and just know that other people love you. Uh, There's a lot of people out there that really want you in their lives. And if um, if you're struggling with anything, talk to somebody. Um, You're all beautiful people out there and I I want you to be safe. Uh, We're going to go ahead and end the show. Wells, thank you so much for uh, being on and being our producer. We love you, Wells. We hope you love yourself. And mm. yes, oh, look thanks. at that. Yeah, look at that. We hope you have good luck with this new uh, female who's out in Quantico, Virginia. And we are going to go ahead and give this wink a try, maybe. And we want to say. Stay sex positive, everybody. Give this uh, video a like or give us a follow. All those fun things that you do on YouTube and Twitch and Twitter and whatever it's all called. Uh, Have a good night, everybody.